This video is powered by the fastest VPN on the planet, NordVPN. Never miss a second of your favorite show, even when you're abroad. Get NordVPN two year plan plus four months extra by clicking the link below. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. AFTV, we got Michael here, right? It's absolutely brilliant because um, I always see you coming onto the streams and you know, you give some brilliant opinions. So to be here to see you in the flesh, you know what I mean? And to, you know, I saw you yesterday when we were talking, it's been absolutely brilliant to see you. What did you make of the game today? We need a Zinchenko that can defend. Don't get me wrong, I, I love Zinni, but whatever Arteta thinks Zinchenko can do, we need that guy plus a defender. And if, if we, we cannot let a right winger like Salah loose on Zinchenko alone. If we want him to play in the midfield, play him in the midfield. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say, to me, what I thought today was exactly that. I'm like, you can't blame Zinchenko there because Salah's one of the best in the world. We all know how quick he is, right? You've got to double him up. Notice Liverpool, they doubled up on Martinelli every single time. We, we were leaving Salah one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, that's a very brave thing to do. Yeah, but on that second goal, Gabriel came out to guard Salah, and Zinchenko was just standing in the area without any idea who he was marking. Mm. You know, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not down on the guy. I'm just saying, if we're going to have a back line, I do not want Zinchenko one of those four. Mm. Yeah. So would you put him in midfield? There's been a lot of talk about playing him in midfield. Well, he's that's, good, where, that's where he plays for his country. He's a good impact player. Mm. If we need a goal in the last 15 minutes, he makes sense to come in. Mm. You know, but I don't want him starting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, they're strengthening that back line. Calafiori's okay. coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other day at the uh, press conference, um, Mikel Arteta saying that he could play him, deploy him at left okay. back or as a centre back. So it's going to be interesting to see where Calafiori plays. But on the whole, what have you made of it, you know, watching Arsenal tonight? Because they did play some nice stuff at times. Yeah, yeah, they did. They mm. did. I mean, look, we didn't have Rice. We didn't have Saka. We're not really looking at the finished product here. We're seeing mm. bits and pieces and fragments. Mm. I like the sort of interplay between Trossard and Jesus. That was good. I like Havertz making runs. I, You know, it was. we saw pieces of mm. what will come together, but we got to have the full, the full complement, you yeah. know? Do you, right. think, do you think uh, that our preseason is going to be affected this year? Because the last couple of years, like he's had all his players in place for preseason this year with the Euros and the Copa America. That just doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. I mean, I think, I think if he's doing a good job in training camp, the fact that they're not on the field in Philadelphia is not going to make a difference. So you, you, you're quite confident that we're going to get off to a good start? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's I got a tough some start. Story. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, where you got? Where you got? Okay. Hey! I see you standing like greyhounds, straining at the leash. Defy we now these men of grosser blood and teach them how to war. <laughs> and on this charge, cry God for Arteta and the Gunner Soar. Yeah.